Math class, math for real estate investors, math secrets for real estate investors and business owners, stuff that you should know that should really help you. This is class five. This is where we're gonna start talking about how to calculate percentages in your heads. Of all the classes we've done and that we've taught, taught this many times and people always come back and say this is one of the most helpful things they've ever learned how to do. So we're here. If you guys want more of these classes, let me know because we do these classes live and I can just start recording them and putting them online. So it's not difficult to do, but I don't know how much of this stuff you guys really wanna do because people are like always like, I hate math, I hate math. Listen, getting good at math is not only gonna impress people, but it'll open up doors for you you know, uh, there's so many benefits to being good at math. And if you have kids, you definitely need to teach your kids how to be good at math so they can convince people that they're smart and take on the world. All right, so how do we calculate percentages in your head? What does percent mean? Percent really means that if the number, let's say you have 72, right? If that number was 100%, what does, if that's 100, then what does one piece mean, right? So this is out of pieces of 100. That's actually what the word percent means. If, if, if that's 100, then how much is one piece? And then that's what we're doing. We're breaking up that number. It, the, if that's 100%, then if we pick up five pieces, how much, how many numbers, how much do I really need to have five pieces if that's 100%? So 100% is really easy. Three would be 3%, right? Because it's 100. But what if it's 72? How much, what percent, to, if I have the same three, if I pick three, what percent is that of 72? Does that make sense? Percent basically means if whatever number we have is 100, then how many pieces do I have with whatever number they give you, right? So just think about it that way. We're going to look at the number as 100, and then every other number reverse is after that. Does that make sense? So take, think about this. We'll take any number as an example, and then we're just going to first calculate 100, and then 50, and then 25% of the number. So think of a number. Let's say, okay, 80. Let's pick 80, for example. So 80, what is 100% of 80? Right, so nobody, right? No, it's not a trick question, right? 100% of 80 is 100, right? Or 100% of 80 is 80, right? Because that's that's what I just said earlier, which I guess I didn't do a great job of explaining. 100%, what this means is if this number 80 is 100%, then what is 50%? So for example, we just talked about this in our in our halving class, right? So what we'll, we'll 40, very good, 40. And then 25% would be 20, because all we're gonna do is just half this and then half it again. So if 80 is 100%, 25% is 20, right? So now with these numbers, these main numbers here of this 80, 40, 20, can you guys see that? It's Mr. Gorgeous in the way. All right, now let's talk about 10%. What's 10% of 80? It's real simple, we just move the decimal over. So if it's 80, it's gonna be 8.0 or eight, right? What's 5%? Well, we just take 10% divided by two, right? That gives us 4%. And what about 1%? 1% we just move the decimal over again, right? So eight. So the difference between eight or 80, eight and 0.8, it's 100%, 10% and 1%. And we just move the decimal over, right? So now that we've been able to calculate, look at the numbers we got here really quickly. We got 100% of a number. We got 50%. We got 25%. We got 10%. We got 5%. And we got 1%. And we're able to do this with any number really quickly. We can do, let's pick another number. Pick another one. Okay, let's pick 90. All right, so 90 would be 90 is 100%. What is 50%? 50% is 45. And then what would be 45 divided by two, right? What is it gonna be? No, it's 2.5, right? So 20, just look at the four, 20 of that, and then 2.5, right? So now we know what 100% is, what 50% is, what 25% is of 90. 25% of 90 is 22.5, 22 and a half, right? So now we add what's 10%, 5%, and 1%. So 10% of 90 is nine, then 5% is four, is half of that, so four and a half, right? Just doing it, just gonna multiply it by half, and then 1% is 0.9. So we've been able to do this really quickly, right? We can do this very, very fast in our heads, right? We could figure out, 100% of a number, 50% to 25%. And we can figure out 10%, 5%, and 1%. All with the simple task, the simple little tool of halving a number and then halving it again, right? Really easy to, to do that. But here's the cool thing. Now that you know those numbers, you can figure out any percentage of a number really easily because you can get 100%, 95%, 90%, 85%, 80%. Because 100% is just 100%, right? Just that, That's not anything there. 95% is 100 minus five. Now, subtracting, we try to stay away from, but in this case, we're just gonna keep it the same way. So it's 100 plus plus 5. 90% is 100 minus 10, right? Minus 10%. Now, what about 85? This gets a little bit, you know, we'll start at 1%. 1%. So 1% because it gets it's easier to work our way up, right? 1% we just talked about. So 1% is just going to be point the number, right? Just going to be one tenth of one tenth. So we, multiply, we divide it by 10, then divide it by 10 again. We just add a decimal. What is 5%? 5% is half of 10%, right? Half of 10%. So once we get to 10%, all we have to do is add half. 10% is the number just moving the decimal point. Just moving the decimal point. I should We should use an actual number here. Let's use 80, for example. Let's keep using 80. So what's it's 1% of 80. 1% of 80 is 0.8, right? And then what's 5%? If 10% of 80 is 8, then what's 5%? 4. 
Actually, we already did this a second ago. All right, now what's 15% of 80? 15 is just 10 plus five, right? That's how we want to calculate this. So what's 10 plus five? Am I doing this? Is this Mr. Gordon? You're supposed to be controlling Mr. Gordon. Sorry. What's 10 plus five or what's eight plus four? That's 12, right? Because 15% is just 10% plus 5%. Now what's 20%? 20% is 10% times two, which is 16. What's 25%? Well, we already figured out 25% of 80 because that's 40 divided by two, that's 20. What about 30%? 30% is 10% eight times three, so it's 24. So very quickly we could say 30% of 80 is 24, right? Now what's 35%? 35% is just 30% plus 5%, right? So if we know what 10% is, eight, we know half of that is four, so eight times three is 24 plus four is 28. 35% of 80 is 28, right? Now let's go to 40%. 40% is pretty easy. Take 10%, double it, and redouble it. What do we get if we double it and redouble it? Four times, or 10 times, Times two is 16 times two is 32. What's 45 percent? 45 percent is just the 40 percent that we just figured out plus five percent. We already know five percent is four, so 32 plus four is 36. So 45 percent of 80 is 36. 50 percent, we already know that. Uh, it's 40, right? 55 percent is what? Just 40 plus four, right? Because it's going to be 50 plus 55 percent or 50 plus five percent, right? What's 60 percent? That's 50 percent plus 10 percent or 50 percent, which is 40 plus 10 percent, which is eight. 48. See how easy this is to do, right? And then that 60% plus 5% or plus 4 is going to be 52, which is 65%. See how easy this is to go? 70%, there's a few ways to get to 70%. One is 10 times 3 or 10 times 7. So 8%, 10% is 8 times 7 is 56, right? So 70% of 80 is 56. 75%, we just take the 70% plus 5%, which is 56 plus 4, right? You guys all getting this? Yeah? All right, so 80%. You could go subtract in, subtraction way, or we could just say, what's 20, what's 10%, which is, uh, let's go, go down. We, we, so we have, we, have you been numbering these all? I'm sorry, am I blocking the way? All right, so 10% is eight. We double that to get to 16, that's 20%. And now 20, now we, you, there's a few, you can go, you can go right here and go to, to times four, or just double it, which is easier. Double it to, to 60, to 32, and then double it again to 64. So that's an easier way to go. That's why we double, double again, and then half and half again. It's easier to go. And then 85% is that same 64% plus 5% or 68. So we're only going up by 5% increments, right? And then the 90% could be 80% plus 10%. That's one way of doing that, right? Or we go backwards and we go, uh, you know, 100% minus 10%. So 80 minus 8 or 68 plus 8. And either answer is the same. What's the answer? Did you get it? No. No, we're taking, so t t okay, so 80, 10% of 80 is what? 8, right? So 80 minus 10%, 80 minus 10% would be 72, right? Is that what you got? Right. So 85% plus 5%. No, because, no, it's 85% is 68. And 5%, what's 5% of 80? What's 10% of 80? 8. Half of that is 4, right? So we add 4 to 68, because that's 85 plus 5, right? 70, okay, got it? Okay, good. No, that's good. And then 72 plus 4, or I shouldn't say 4, 72 plus 5%, which is 90 plus 5%. Very good. Right, so what is that? Got to, very good. There we go. And we figured out the entire math here, all of our math here. So all we really need to do is get good at the 100%, 50%, 25%, and then and we can go to the 10, 5, 1, and then we can figure out anything. So right now, when we, get, we have this, this uh, quiz that you guys are taking, write this out first. 1%, 5%, 10%, 15%, all the way up. And we're going to use easy whole numbers like this. Eventually, we'll move on to numbers like 55, right? And then we'll move on to numbers like 53%. Because, But the first thing you want to do is get really good at understanding what is 40% of a number. That is 10% times 4. So what's 1%? That's easy. Just move the decimal. What's 5%? Half a 10%. What's 10%? Just move the decimal. What's 15%? It's 10 plus 5. What's 20%. It's 10 times 2. What's 25%? It's half and half again. What's 30%? That's 10 times 3. What's 35%? 30 plus 5. What's 40%? 10 times 4. 45%? 40 plus 5, right? That's what you want to look at. What is 10% and 5%? Once the once you have these anchors established, 10, 5, and 1, and 50, 100, 25, every other number is going to be some variation of this. So if somebody says, what's 53%? Well, it's 50% plus 3%, right? And once we know what 1% is times 3, then add that to the 50%. That gets a little more complicated, but that'll become easy too. Everything will become a lot easier once you have these other numbers up. Speaking of 1%, just moving the decimal, what happens if you have 1 million, 1 billion, and 1 trillion? The difference in moving the decimal or adding a comma. 1 million seconds is 12 days. 31 million seconds, about pi times 10 million, is one year. There's 31 million seconds in one year. So we want to know what's the difference between a million and a billion. A million seconds is about 12 days. That was on that, that quiz, that trivia thing. But a billion seconds is about 30 years. Right? So you're going to live, the average life expectancy is about 2 billion seconds. 1 trillion seconds is 30,000 years. So when are you going to use this? We're going to use this all the time, calculating cost, all kinds of stuff we use. We calculate these numbers. This is something that we've used over and over again. There's
There's so many times you can use percentages. Guys, I, I know we've got a we've got a break. They're coming in for the next class. Okay. Is there any questions? Does everyone understand this? Everyone got these numbers, right? Okay. Let's use, let's break real quick. We're gonna use uh use any three of these numbers and then show your work. So right at the one percent all the way up. Use any three of those numbers, make sure you get it, and you don't write anything, you don't use any calculator or anything, just do the 10% plus five percent. Get good at those numbers and understanding the reference points, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. For more classes like this, go to bigreader.com. Guys, in the comments, if you want more classes like this, more math classes like this, let me know. I'll make sure we have them. All right, guys, thank you so much. Bigreader.com, go there now. Thank you. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up.